John Taylor and welcome to my Stone Love Bass Odyssey. So this is a new concept, it's a lockdown concept, something I've thought about for many years doing and never really liked the idea of. Now seems like a good time to do it. Uh, here I am in Los Angeles at my home here, grateful to be alive and healthy. It seemed like a good time to talk to you guys all about my journey uh, as a bass player and talking about the songs that Duran Duran have written that I've been a part of over these years and the bass lines to those songs and how they came into being. So, a little bit about me as a musician. You know, I started playing guitar when I was 16. I was 16 in 1976, which was a fantastic year to be alive, let me tell you. It was a fantastic time to be 16. It was the year of the punk rock revolution in England. It was a time when Everybody, all of my friends wanted to be in a band. Everybody ditched their career plans and got into punk rock. And uh, I was there and Nick was there and Roger was there and Simon was there. We were all doing it in different parts of the country. Um, I fancied myself as a guitar player. Everybody did. That was the first instrument that I picked up. And the first time that I got to plug an electric guitar into an electric ampli amplifier and hear the sound that thing made, well, I never looked back. However, as Duran Duran started to evolve, and Nick and I had been playing together for about a year, we met Roger Taylor, and Roger and I kind of bonded over funk. You know, we were both punk rockers, but we loved funky rhythm sections. And so, really for me, the journey as a bass player began the day that I met Roger. Now here on this, this lockdown thing we're doing here, we can't have Roger with us, but we've got in his place, Roger Lynn, this classic drum machine, MPC 60. When I do need a little bit of a drumming beefcake, I'm gonna be using him. So the first song that I wanna talk about is Planet Earth. <laughs> And um, Planet Earth was a super important song for Duran Duran. It was one of the first songs that we wrote together. And, um, and the beat to Planet Earth is like, if anything says 1980, it's this. And that's what we in the business call a four on the floor. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Heavy on the kick drum, snare on the two and the four. There's a hand clap in there somewhere. I kind of wished I'd mix, mix it a bit higher, but it's in there. Now, the first bass player that really caught my ear as a musician who I wanted to consciously emulate was Bernard Edwards from Chic. Anybody that knows me that's followed my career knows what a fan of his that I was and I still am today. So there was one of his songs, Everybody Dance, that I was a big fan of. I tried playing it one day, but I needed to use a pick bass players use them, some don't. That sort of thing. So, so we've got a main groove and we've got Nick and Andy trading lead lines. Simon's in. However, that's what we call in the business an A part, right? So we've got our A part. Now, what do we need? We need a B part, right? So we've got our verse. We need a B part. I don't know, Andy, Nick. Come up with chords.
next sequences. And we the bass line that video but it's not a Rickenbacker on the recording that's an Aria Pro okay thank you for joining me on my stone love bass odyssey join me next on Instagram live where I'm going to be hanging with a special guest